Hello my lovelies, welcome back, yes another video for you. So we have a beauty haul, um, this is a culmination of several shopping sprees, do I mean spree? I mean spree, um, Glossier, no surprise there, there's Cult Beauty and there's Space NK as well. Let's start with Glossier. Um, this is my second bottle and it's the Body Hero Daily Oil Wash. Um, I love it. I really, really love this. I love the oily texture because you know I love oils in general for hair, for face, nails, everywhere. And I love it. And the scent for me is gorgeous. It's got neroli. I pick up quite a citrus scent, but there is sort of a warmth to it, which I love. It comes like this, but what I really like is the sort of care that's taken, that it comes with a pump. So you can either use it like this if you prefer, but the pump, of course, stops you using too much, which you know I'm guilty of with products. I'm just heavy-handed with everything, but I love it. And I've nearly run out of the first one, so it was essential that I had a second bottle. Really, really impressed with this. As ever, you get a sample, and it's the fragrance You. I think this is my third sample. I love it. I haven't bought the full size, but I will, because it's such a rich, warm spicy oriental sweet fragrance and i love it for a lot of people it would probably be classed as an evening fragrance for me i would wear it quite happily during the day really beautiful product so i couldn't just buy one thing from glossier of course i got another generation g lipstick this time in the shade crush so i've got a zip which is sort of brick red. This is a pinky, quite a bright pinky tone, which I really like. And I do like these lipsticks. They work so well. You get nice colour, but they're a really nice texture as well. The only negative, I don't find them very secure at all in the casing. And the same with Zip. Basically, it's not attached at all. It's completely broken away from its base. Not impressed with that. I will be making Glossier aware of it because I don't think it's, you know, when you're paying for a reasonable product, you expect the packaging to withstand the use and a lipstick does get a good hammering, but that I find a little bit disappointing. Other than that, I really like these lipsticks. I like the size of them, I like the colour payback and I love the feel on my lips as well. So Crush is a new addition to my lipstick collection. There's a lot of cleansers. It won't surprise a lot of you. There are a lot of cleansers in this particular video. Prepare yourselves. Okay, um, I got a small Cordially Beauty Elixir. I'm really getting back into this, but I do have three other facial mists so I decided to get a small bottle but I love it it's still my favorite after Cerazinc um, and they they're not alike because Cerazinc is antibacterial there isn't a fragrance to it and I do like Cerazinc this there is quite a fragrance but I love the feel I love the scent it's a fine mist and I love it as my skincare routine and I also love it over my makeup as well. It just really refreshes the face. But it's sort of the first one I think I used when I first started using facial mist, this and Cerazinc. So a small bottle of Cordially. I'm going to do everything and we'll do the cleansers last. Now I got a PR sample of this. Um, Leonore Greel and this is the pre-shampoo um, hair oil. And I'd said, I'm definitely going to get another one. And then I didn't. And I was on, I think it was Cult Beauty. And suddenly thought, oh, Leonore Greel, I must get another bottle. Now, it is an oil. It does dry hard, especially in cold weather. I tend to stand mine on or near a radiator. And it soon goes into an oily consistency. And I apply it to my hair before I shampoo it. And generally sort of from here down my hair. I don't put so much on the top because I do get quite greasy roots. It is incredible. You'll have seen me go on about this in other videos. It's just impeccable on the hair and it lasts. Even if you shampoo, you know, two or three times after and you don't apply it, my hair is just in great condition. It looks better, it feels better and I love 
this product. So finally, I have bought the Leonore Griel pre-shampoo um, oil, but it does look like that. So don't panic if you get it and think, how is it going to come out of the bottle? If you put some hot water in your sink and just stand it in there, or as I do, just balance it on a radiator. So I've got that. Very happy about that. Um, this I got basically because I'd had a sample and I really, really loved this product. It's from Ren. It's their Ever Calm Ultra Comforting Rescue Mask. Now, I don't get touch wood, very many problems with my skin, but sometimes I just feel like giving my skin a bit of a cuddle, a bit of a rest, you know, no retinol, no glycolic, no salicylic acid, no lactic acid, just a cuddle. And I do like using comforting healing masks. And this for me is sort of a dupe for the Shantikai, which I adore. And I have a new one, it's in the bathroom. I haven't got it out, but that's a new addition from having a sample as well. So I have the healing mask. This is kind of a dupe, um, similar thing, very gentle, very calming on the skin and I love it, so I had to get a full size. A PR sample, um, this is from DHC and it's Astax Thin. Astaxanthin, Astaxanthin, Astaxanthin. It's a collagen gel. Now, a few years ago, there's maybe a video lurking, lurking in my YouTube history. And I'm sure it was Kodak, yes, the camera film people, who developed a range of skincare and they had a lot of these gels and I'm sure it was a collagen based gel and I had it for quite some time. It was very popular, but it just didn't do so well in the UK and they actually discontinued it. I don't know if it's still available in other parts of the world, I've no idea. But I saw this and it reminded me immediately and I really liked that product. Now I'm not a gel person, you know that, it's my least favourite consistency, but sometimes it's the best format to hold and stabilise products. So I have that, I haven't started it yet, I'm going to start it this evening, but I'm quite excited and that's DHC. They also do, I think, an eye cream rollerball firming product, but I was more interested in, in this. So. PR sample to start tonight. Right, cleansers, hoorah. First one, I'll just get it out of the way because it won't surprise you. Moringa Cleansing Balm, Emma Hardy. Um, when it gets to sort of the end of the year, I start panicking. The fact that you can shop again, literally Christmas day anyway, um, I don't like the thought of being without cleansing balms, even though I already have a spare and a couple of other spares or something else. I have a spare. Never too many cleansing balms. Um, for my morning cleanse, I am using the um, Glossier Milky Jelly Cleanser. It's fine. I like it. It's not my favourite product. It's probably my least favourite from everything. It does the job. No problem with it. It's just not earth shattering but I have gone back to the Oscar Renaissance cleansing gel which I used for my morning cleanse for quite a number of times and then just went to different products but I've got that back again so I will be rotating it in going back to the Glossier going back to other things but that's back in the collection and a couple of newbies Ooh, the first one I've been looking at this brand for some time and reading up on their cleansing oils and their facial oils and I just love the sound of everything and I've gone for the super seed cleansing oil um, Kia or Chia and Parsi seed from Votary and this is more for mature skins um, to be fair any skin can use it but they sort of aim it more at mature skins Oh, and I love it. I know it's only a cleansing oil, I get that, but it is so much more. It's very rich, it's a superb colour. I actually don't want to take it off my face when it's on. It's just the most glorious texture. It feels beautiful on my face. And as with any cleansing oil that I really love, and it's so rich, it really makes me use it and work it and give my face a good massage and facial. 
so I'm not rushing when I use this this is my ah, take time I tend to use cleansing oils as my second cleanse on an evening so I'll use a balm first and then an oil just to take everything all the residue away but I really do take my time it's when everything just slows down and switches off for me and I have loved it and pharmacy now I love the pharmacy cleansing balm it's green it's a fresh smell to it it's a lovely texture it's lightweight it removes all your makeup really love it I'm currently using the cleanser I wanted to get another one but it's out of stock it's always out of stock um, frustratingly but then I spotted I think I'm having a cleansing oil obsession that they do a cleansing oil so I decided to give it a try I love pharmacy packaging there is a lot to it but you can recycle it that's the important thing and I love how everything opens up and you get so much information if you want to read the leaflets and the shadow that does but this is just gorgeous it's really heavy really heavy glass bottle I love it um, I'll probably actually reuse this bottle it's so pretty but this is the clear bloom makeup glide away cleansing oil um, and I'm very excited to try it it has got a variant of echinacea I used to take echinacea throughout the winter months when I was a nursery nurse and you know little people have a lot of germs and I used to take vitamin C every morning, spoonful of honey and echinacea to just keep me going and it actually worked. I don't think I was, I was very rarely off sick with the lurgy from a little person. Um, so it's got a variant of echinacea in there as well. Um, but yes, I'm looking forward to that. It's an antioxidant um, cleansing oil. I will come back to you um, about this but I'm very excited. I do like pharmacy as a brand and they're sort of getting there. They're becoming more established but I think the problem is when products are often out of stock people there's so much more choice now that people just go to the next thing rather than waiting for that product and I'm the same. I love the cleansing balm but I've got my Emma Hardy I've got my pestle and mortar you know you, there are other options out there so I do think sometimes with brands it's very easy to get lost quickly in this day and age but a cleansing oil and it is a little bit less expensive than the votary for people that are interested there you go um that's all folks that's my beauty haul right I shall leave it there. I hope you're all well and I will be back of course with some more videos very very soon. Take care.